All right, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of YouTube. This is Pastor Dow. I'm actually uh, coming on here just for a moment because, um, you know, I want to say thank you to all, all the people who support the ministry, uh, who support me in the efforts and causes um, that, that we endeavor to take on here at Straightway, especially in helping me get the truth out um, con concerning the faith. Um, I can't express enough um, how appreciative I am, deeply appreciative. Um, there's another brother on, on here by the name of Frank who who uh, supports the, the ministry greatly, and I just wanted to actually come on here and say thank you, as well as the rest of you people that support the ministry. Now, um, I also want to say to the ignorant people. Now, you, you've got to understand. Now, while I'm saying to the ignorant people, I'm talking about the people who are informed but not ignorant. You see, there are those of you who listen, who support, who understand exactly what's going on. But then you, you know just as well as I do that you can't stand for the truth. You can't preach the truth, speak the truth, and live the truth without having enemies. You can't do none of that. You can't do that without having ignorant people. As a matter of fact, the Bible clearly says um, in 1 Corinthians 14, if any man be ignorant, then let him be ignorant. You're not going to do nothing about ignorant people. I'm not going to do nothing about ignorant people. It's an epidemic here in the United States of America. And so for the most part, the best thing you can do is ignore them or block them because they really are not adding any strength or truth to the message, to the ministry whatsoever at all. Uh, they're just there to hinder the cause. And you're not going to do anything about these people because, you know, unless I say something that they like, um, they're going to continue to keep attacking. Now, uh, those of you who watch me and listen to me, you know by now that I'm brutally honest. And no matter what truth I'm speaking about, and of course, ignorant people will not go do the research. They will not hear anything um, that I have to say. Uh, and they would definitely not do the painstaking task to go and confirm to see if the things that I'm saying is so or not because it takes too much time and energy. You see, these people are used to going to churches, sitting down, having people tell them what to believe, and then they lodge it into their mind, and then they become rehashers of dead men's bones or what they call truth. And they haven't done the diligent research or, uh, or anything at all. And then. Um, later on, they'll get married and they'll have children and they'll teach the, their children the same old ignorant theology and philosophy, whether it be in uh, social, political, economic, or, or in life in general. But some of us have exercised self-autonomy. Some of us uh, are dealing with the pain that truth brings, and truth does bring a lot of pain. Um, as a matter of fact, it hurts pretty deep. And, of course, a lot of people, um, you know, they don't like pain. I don't like pain either. But they will do whatever it takes to avoid pain at all costs. Um, the truth always sets free. The lie always binds. And most people have become comfortable in chains. I often say that a slave loves chains has no need or reason whatsoever at all to be free because they're comfortable. Um, so those of you who have endeavored to do the research and found out that Pastor Dow is not lying, your institutions have lied to you. Your preachers have lied to you. Your families have lied to you. I'm not the enemy here. But yet and still, people choose to make me an enemy. I can't do nothing about it. Um, you're not going to get out of this earth or through this life without having people that are contrary to you, people that are against your person, and people who have determined that they're going to be your enemies. That's just part of the fight, part of the cause. And remember, your worst enemies will be they of your own household. Those of you... Uh, who are my brothers and sisters, fellow Israelites, who have had your understanding um, woke up by the Most High. I bless each and every last one of you. I bless those of you who are my friends, um, who are helping me to, to do whatever you can to get this message out. I want to say a sincere thank you to each and every last one of you, and I deeply, deeply appreciate it. I hope that someday soon that we can lay eyes on each other uh, and have wonderful fellowship. Be encouraged. Do not worry about people that are against your person or ignorant people. Let them be ignorant. After all, they do have a right to be ignorant.